This is an Army Today. The Port of New York and New Jersey is the third largest port in the world, handling cargo for 35% of Americans. The Corps of Engineers is deepening the port to 50 feet in a massive $1.6 billion project. These waters conceal rock, shale, and some of the hardest glacial till. The remnant of the glacial activity from the distant past. But it's no match for this massive machine. An A-frame in a boom hoist system lifts this bucket, the largest in the world on this type of dredge. Empty, it weighs 50,000 pounds. Full, that number doubles. So we try to maximize that and get one of these buckets off the bottom and into the scow every 60 to 90 seconds. To maintain such a pace, teeth are changed up to 20 times a day. That scale is approximately 5,000 cubic yards. That's the same volume as 500 dump trucks. On a very good day, we'll be able to fill that in about four to five hours. Inside, state-of-the-art technology maps and tracks dredging. If an angle and depth sensors on the excavator attachments is routed into a computer, uh, and it gives the operator real-time feedback as to the bucket position uh, as it's working in the depth. Silhouette of the dredging arc. With the darker colors representing areas that we've already dredged um, according to this color code, uh, and the lighter areas that, uh, that remain undredged. And yes, you may have guessed it, this is an expensive business. Uh, a dredge package of this size, including several tugboats, uh, two of the 5,000 cubic yard scows, can run anywhere between $100,000 to $120,000 per day. And it's all part of a Corps of Engineers project to deepen the harbor to 50 feet to accommodate world class. That's an Army Today from Washington. For the latest military news, visit the Army homepage at Army.net.